What's up? Welcome everybody. Back to the dungeon. Dirk here. Huh. I said that kind of backwards, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, I tried uploading a video, but it was pretty much 11 minutes. No, 12 minutes. And uh, it was going to take like fucking four hours. And I said, no! It was going to be an update video. And yeah, so I figured instead of cramming a bunch of shit into a 12 minute video, I'd kind of break it up so it doesn't take fucking forever to upload. So anyway, <clears throat> do this once again. I'll show you the circuit I'm working on, uh, apart from other projects. But we won't get into that. We'll just talk about this. This is a NAND gate circuit. Oh, no. Uh, hang on here. Bear with me, guys. There we go. So that is one of the variations of the of the circuit diagram. Uh, it was traced out by a person who put together a kit. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's an AND gate uh, or um, synthesizer. It's 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 four oscillators uh, on this chip, which happens to be a uh, um, well, it's a it's a hex inverter basically. It's got uh, it's a four and one uh, Smith trigger chip, the four o nine three. They're pretty dirt cheap. Uh, you can get CMOS versions. This is not a CMOS version. Um, go up to about 15 volts. We're going to get 9 right now. And yeah, there's a little LED. And you can see it's pulsing right now. Um, everything works pretty good. Um, potentiometer, you could do just do a 1K. This is just for um, volume. I have like a 500K on there. It's you know, On the other one, it states to have like 100K 100, 100, uh, ohm. But that's way overkill. One, well, one k ohm potentiometer is more than enough. Uh, also, I think this push button here doesn't work um, anymore. Could be a, uh, could be not working anymore because this is it, it's constantly being fed because there, here's here's your uh, input voltage for the actual chip right here, and then this uh, yeah this the, this momentary button is going to tie that into the first gate right here, which is pin one. But as you can see, it's constantly oscillating, and basically each um, each gate stage or each Schmidt trigger is its own independent oscillator um, with a, a capacitor and a, a potentiometer here, and they all feed into one another. And it's got a, a wide range of interesting sounds, and this is this. I'm just testing this out here. Um, I might later on make a standalone version. Now, actually, scratch that. Uh, I'm going to make a huge like. Uh, basically like a patch panel um, version of this that has uh, four um, uh, triple fives in there. So those are independent oscillators which feed into this as well. So I can have this as a standalone and I can just start patching sh uh, patching things in here. I got a bunch of wires here that I pulled off a, uh, a you know, uh, basically a radio. It was down here. And this guy right here. So I can have patch wires. So that's gonna be pretty cool and be a neat project. Lots of blinky lights and lots of crazy sounds and things like that. Should be pretty cool. But anyway, enough enough ramble. I don't wanna make this too too long. So we'll go ahead and turn the volume up here. It's not very loud.
Yeah, so I don't think that button works. But anyway, that's the that's basically the gist of it. It's a pretty cool little circuit. Um, I recommend that anybody they want to build that. It's really simple. Obviously, there's not very much to it as far as parts. Um, but yeah, so there'll be an updated version of this soon um, with some other stuff. And uh, tomorrow I'll be working on the uh, Tesla Spirit Radio. Or maybe maybe later in the evening. Who knows? I can get started. I just got my germanium diodes. This might happen to be that I pulled out of a, that another radio board. Might be a germanium diode. I know you, I know you guys can't really see it. But uh, yeah. Anyway. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.